Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games, and here we are in League of Angels AMZ game servers with my really nice mount Cerberus. I am now preferring it more, of course, it's matching my clothing as well, that's one of the reasons. Then uh, my other one, which was also Majestic, uh, where, where is it hiding? I forgot the name, the Pride King, which also looks majestic, but I think I'll switch to that when I have much better clothes. In any case, in this video, I'm going to get more mounts, more angels. So it's going to be a cool video. I'm now level 56 at 227,838 bell rating and my promotion via account 3 star is flashing which means I can go up so let's do that. I was saving that for the video as well so to, to do it with you guys. So here we got, I got 3 stars already, so this is the promotion for the 4 stars which was requiring 500,000 prestige, which I just got just over now, just 2-3 thousand over uh, what, what is the requirement, and was requiring only level 46, which was not a problem because I'm now 56, but the prestige requirement was high. So I'm going to unlock this and become Viscount 4 stars, getting a little bit more stats, which is really good. That gave 75 bell rating from uh, from just a promotion. So with that said, a uh, short reminder: uh, if you guys want to go and play uh, League of Angels on AMZ game servers as well, just follow the link in the in the description of the video just below. That's my referral link, and uh, it'll take you there. And then they'll know that you came from my videos presentations, which is good for me as well. So thanks in advance for that. So continuing with uh, with our video series. What I want to do a lot in this video is show you guys the lucky tree. The lucky tree is a very, very nice uh, event if you can spend diamonds. And you see I've already leveled up my lucky tree to level 6. Basically you bless it, you get 2 free attempts per day. And uh, you keep blessing it, you start from level 1. Uh, let's go back here. You can actually see uh, each level even though... Um, you have uh, you don't have it or you have it uh, and then you can click on go back to my current luck tree to go to your level so on level one here you're getting a bunch of luck lucky coins uh, already which is good and also you can get some diamonds back and that's with level one already you can get uh, some some good prizes like even amount for example and I'll buy that as well we'll, we'll do the shopping as well in this video so uh, and then level two and and gets harder and harder. Um, that is the re the experience requirement gets harder and harder um, to go up level. And now I am at level six. And um, at uh, something else I wanted to mention is at level one you see you got lucky coin drops or diamond drops. And then at level two the same but more. And then at level three they start adding a level seven superior gem chest so it's a level seven gem which is awesome because I had like the highest I had was like level six uh, I think only one or two but mostly I had level fives and fours and even threes so this is level seven so I was really happy about that and then when you level up to four that changes into a level eight gem of course all the other stuff is increasing as well and then at level 5 it's changing to level 9 superior gem and I just made it to level 6 and at level 6 it's giving fuse, fused gems so one gem which has two different qualities so you see here uh, for example level 76 HP and physical attack so that's 6200 HP and 1990 physical attack inside one gem so the level is lower but they are like double gems. The, the, the other thing with, these are of course awesome and of course is because the gem slots are fixed over here and you see I already have equipped really nice gems, level 8 physical attack, level 9 uh, hit gem here. Um, I have also level 9 physical attack here, level 9 crit gem. So basically whatever I got I have already equipped it, that's also one of the reasons why the bell rating is higher. Of course all the defensive ones I gave to the nether knight to tank better like a level 8 physical defense and a level 9 HP. But what I wanted to show you is the one fused gem that I got which is on my helm here. Which is a level 7 physical attack plus hit. It's giving 2900, sorry, 2900 physical attack 
and 348 hits so it's making you hit well and hit hard uh, so you don't miss so it's really good even though um, I could let's say put a level 9 here I think I prefer level 7 fused gem the trouble with these is you need to have magic socketing rods to upgrade to the gem slot so for example if I take off this crit here um, no, it doesn't give me the option probably because I don't have any let me try the second one no it still doesn't give me the option because I don't have any magic socket rods in the middle here opens up uh, an option to upgrade a normal slot into uh, a kind of a better slot here it is advanced socket slot and here you can you can put the fused gems that's the only thing so um, I don't have any of these magic socket rods I only had 20 so that's why I could do one slot but that's the thing but uh, it, it's not a major issue because even if um, I get these gems and even if I can't socket them it's still good because of course the moment I get magic socket ro magic socketing rods I'll be able to socket the gems which is great uh, on top of that all these other prices are going up so you see if I sort here um, I've been able to get 10,000 lucky, more than 10,000 lucky coins. Uh, I'll get back 4,400 diamonds, but of course I spent more already. And uh, level nine gems, six of them I'll get. In, um, I got and level eight superior gems I got. Um, so a, a lot of stuff if you can spend diamonds. And then you have also Yggdrasil, Ygd uh, where you get. To collect all these rewards per tree level that you achieve so um, now I collected the level 6 which is 2000 refining stones 600 soul stones and 300 blessed stones and if I do manage to reach level 7 I can pick uh, pick up more rewards on top of that you also get personal rewards um, which you see I, I collected um, which are a whole bunch of different items as well um, the higher you go of course the more rare items but here for example level 2 level 8 gems on top of that here to, uh, 2 level 9 gems and this is where I got the 1 level 7 physical attack hit gem for 800 points I have now 805 points and if I get 2200 uh, I'll get 2 more of those gems and more items and uh, the highest is 5000 so um, so that's the thing and on top of all that that I described there is a lucky coin shop and you see I have 17,035 um, lucky coins and you got different categories you got these artifacts um, you got these prints to make you know uh, really awesome items uh, you got the artifacts um, so this is good but I'm not gonna look into this window I'm gonna be looking in the angels window and I'm probably gonna buy Raphael for 13,500 so he's gonna probably become my main angel I hear he is really good so as uh, out of 17 13,000 will go on him um, then mounts you can already get a mount for 90 coins uh, for 180 and 250 so that those are very affordable so that's good and then you got two at around 2000 and then you got one really expensive one at 12750 uh, you also got gems so uh, for 300 coins you can get a level 8 gem you can get um, also these um, items to upgrade heroic armor to imperial um, and you can get level 10 gems for 3000 uh, and you can get a fused dodge and hit gem level 11 for 50,000 that's a lot and this one is agility and hit those are really expensive you got of course the resources you got two pages of resources uh, which is important because you got on the first page basically the resources but you got a really good item on the second page which I probably will try to get which is the fire totem and I'm level 56 totems will unlock at level 60 and I hear this totem is really really good so uh, I'll probably try to get this and uh, save it up until I'm level 60 and you also then finally have the skills uh, which are different items needed for learning skills 
but of much higher level than I am so I'm not gonna be disturbed with them so just to show you how the stuff works I'm gonna go ahead and buy um, buy these nectars so uh, you see here it says one zero out of 1000 so basically one of these which is 30 diamonds is one one experience here so 1000 means you need 1000 here which is like 30,000 diamonds so what I'm gonna do is I'll buy like a hundred for 3000 for example so I'm gonna confirm that and then I can do bless 10 at a time and then in the middle you'll see the, the rewards popping up so there are 285 lucky coins 100 diamonds to 45 lucky coins 100 diamonds to 65 150, 100, so it's always around 200, 250, like it's 450 diamonds that time was really good. So again, 240-ish lucky coins and diamonds 150, diamonds 100, so similar. And at some point, this one is a rare drop, the fusion gem. So I'm going to try to see if I can get, um, if I can get that one. So there I ran out of my tens I still have four attempts but I don't want to use them right now because that's gonna mess up these uh, the ten buttons and I have to click one by one so let's buy 200 more which is 6,000 diamonds I actually don't mind spending everything I got on this event it's, I think it's that good so here we go diamonds and lucky coins are rolling in of course all these coins they can be spent in the shop so I'm absolutely happy to get them as well as the diamonds around 250 points you get I guess in average um, every time but then you get you can get diamonds and that rare gem so I'm trying to get that so far no luck 10 more to go one two he really doesn't want to give it. In in the level 5 tree, I was getting the gems. There it is, level 6 fusion gem chest. So that's awesome. And it got also announced here um, in the rewards. So 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then you can sort the window and see how much you got. So I'll sort it again. So 6,830 diamonds will come back to me, which is good. There is that level 6 fusion gem chest, which is, I think, a really, really good one. <clears throat> but that goes already directly to my character inventory, I think. Let's go and see. I think it's somewhere here. Let me have a look. What is that? Element? No, there it is. Level 6 fusion gem chest. Let's open that. And that gave a 6 HP plus magic attack. Let me see. There it is. A really cool looking gem. HP and magic attack. That could go, for example, to, to the genie. Um, I could also convert it, I think. Let's try exchange. Fuse. And I have one of those. And that one can be exchanged to HP and physical defense, which could go on an, on, on a tank. Um, it can be exchanged to HP and magic defense, also for a tank. You see the recommendation is for all classes. And HP and physical attack, which is recommended for um, damage dealers, I think. Um, but I'd prefer less HP for the damage dealers. So... Basically, yeah, you, you have r lots of room to, to exchange there, so it's a, it's a really good gem. Let's pop back uh, to the lucky tree, and, and basically, I think it's good enough, like I said, to, to buy more and more. So let's take another 200, that's another 6,000. Let's do 1, 2, 3. There are 350 diamonds as well as lucky coins. 235 there is another level 6 fusion gem there we go two hundred diamonds 
and the lucky coins are like I said super good because I'll be able to buy ideally I want to buy all the mounts if possible definitely I want to get the totem uh, and a thanks goes to Rain who, who gave me advice for uh, for what to buy on that um, lucky shop so here we go more lucky coins and more lucky coins let's buy more 200 more yeah my diamonds is, is are disappearing but I think that's okay there you see the announcement cosmos received cosmos received so here we go diamonds and lucky coins keep on coming that's like guaranteed of course but ideally you wanna get those fusion gems or fused gems fusion gem chest okay 250 diamonds back So wait, 10 is costing 300 and you get like 100, 200 back from that, which is pretty good. But not always, of course. You saw there was a lot of rolls without diamonds, but there was also one roll, for example, for 450. So you actually make profit. But that, I guess that was really rare. I'm going to go ahead with 200 more. That's another 6,000. So basically, I ended up spending all my diamonds here. And you see the experience is 700 out of 1000 which means 300 more to, to level up the tree. And I think I'll probably just do that. Here we go. There is another level 6 fusion gem chest. Awesome. But I think the drop rates of the fusion chest gem are much lower because I, before I was getting a lot more level 8 and level 9 single gems which are awesome by themselves by the way so but the fused ones I guess are much more uh, rare so they drop um, more difficult 6 5 there is another one awesome 2 left 1 and 2 lucky coins rolling in I can sort this uh, again to bring in our 40,000 lucky coins that is going to be awesome I got four fusion, uh, four of these so you can see um, the level 5 tree although it doesn't show here it was having much less requirement for experience I think it was 500 or less and with that I got uh, I got six level 9 uh, gems and now for the level 6 tree I'm doing a thousand and I got only four so it shows you how much more um, expensive these these items are so we got a hundred to go to level up the tree so I'm gonna buy exactly that a hundred and let's do it lucky coins Hopefully one more gem will come from that. And the last one here. Boom. Level 7 tree. And here you have a level 7 fusion gem, gem chest as well as all the other things are more. So it's getting better and better. We can go to Yggdrasil and uh, collect I think this one. But let me reload the window I think. He didn't realize that I passed it yet. No, why not? Oh, here it, there is also an experience thingy here. One thousand eight hundred fifty out of two thousand. So I guess you gotta play a little bit in the level seven to get qualified for it. And what is that reward collection? Yeah, of course. There is a limit on the tree. There's, it's, I think it's a three-day event. It was. And now it's one day left. And uh, for the lucky coin shop, you see I have 44,000 of these coins, which is a lot. So now I get the personal reward for 1,200 points. And I'm close to actually the one after as well. So let's collect this while we can. And let's go back to the tree and uh, play some more to get, uh, hopefully I have enough diamonds to get 2,000 here. So I don't know how many is needed. Let's get uh, 200.
and that that gives us 20 um, times 10 attempts hopefully I'll get at least two there's one great so one one more awesome that's two already and I just started with the 20 attempts great lucky coins are also more there's 200 diamonds back 60 50 40 30 and the last one all gave lucky coins and diamond 100 diamonds back so I have 6,000 diamonds left we can check Yggdrasil um, just made it 50 points above so I can collect this nice reward as well 3,000 refining stones 800 soul stones 500 blessed stones and another level 7 gems I'm gonna collect this this is awesome look at that and a uh, personal reward as well just by 5 points I went over 2,000 that gets me 300 awakening stones, 30 of these skill books which I can't use, that's for level 70, I can keep them for later, and a print to make an imperial mail, also something for much later, and a thousand advanced soul stones, um, I'm guessing again for much later. It says used to gain training experience when Zeus Opus is activated and training level reaches 50 or more. I'm of course very far away from that but let's collect that and just simply keep it. And I think that's good enough for now at least maybe I'll I'll, I'll just use up all my diamonds but I want to keep some to do stuff like one click loop quests and such but it's it's really um, that good. There's four fusion uh, level 6 gem chests and three level 7s that I got in the 200 apparently which is awesome and uh, they will require magic socketing rods which I don't have um, so I was just looking at the chat so lucky coin shop and um, now got 49650 lucky coins so I can buy a lot of stuff so I'll buy all the stuff rain suggested so again su suggested so again um, thanks to rain for his suggestion so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to angel and I'll show you here in, in the angels list I have a bunch of angels of course which is um, nocturne here on basically on page zero and then Prospera, Lorelei, Marina, Glacier and Bodicea is what I got here and then it's all grayed out um, Lunari, Claudia, Angelina, Nisa um, basically I can't even pronounce some of these names Samora, Polly, Styx, Michaela, Pandora you see how many angels there are, there are so many angels Vienna, Lectra, Seraphim um, this one is the one I think Rain is using, Isolde, or I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, Demeter is a lady, but Demeter. And then uh, Fortuna and Varda. And here is Raphael on almost the last page, almost the last um, angel. And I guess the deeper uh, the list, the more rare and powerful the angel. That's my guess, but I don't know for sure. But uh, the others are not on offer anyways. Oh, she's very pretty. And um, she's got nice eyes, really nice eyes. Anyways, um, Raphael is right here, and he can go to level 90 as well. Um... I'm not super sure why he is very powerful, but he's got this skill which does of course damage to everybody but also decreases their defense but by 10% and gives a 100% chance of hitting. If I understand that correctly for 3 turns of course, if I understand that correctly, um, then I won't need uh, gems to hit if he gives a 100% chance to hit. So I'll probably double check that with, with some people, I don't know, um, to figure that out. 
Um, if you know, by the way, you can put it in the comments uh, of the video as well. Um, also for his hello, he's got a really different hello than the one I'm currently using. He's giving just health to the front and he's giving attack, crit and hit to the back row. And you can also click on his top level hello to check it out, what it looks like when he's maxed out. And uh, when maxed out, he's giving to the front row 20 2000 experience for each hero which is a lot uh, but that's of course maxed out and a whole bunch of attack crit and hit on the back row whereas currently with Bodicea I have um, a really cool halo with agility physical and magic attack on the back which is perfectly matching the heroes that I'm using of course the front is useless for my tanks the block is nice but I understand now dodge is much better so um so with that said let's quickly scroll back to Raphael here and just to see there's the requirement of how to unlock which is player level required 50 which is reached and only requires Raphael's icon and when you click on that it says it's gotten from events um so i have basically the requirements for him so we're going to go to lucky tree lucky coin shop and we're going to get angel Raphael buy for 13,500 of these coins, confirm. And we're gonna go, and it's red already, cool. And we're gonna go to our dear Raphael. And normally, then he would become then my main angel. And here he is, unlocked, um, unlocked at orange level one. So um, I could feed, let's say, Bodicea, for example, who is level 45 into him. Uh, that's a possibility a and then train up Bodicea for for being a guardian angel um, so I'm not sure if that's the correct way but I'll just do it anyway so we'll do inherit source angel Raphael no target angel is should be Raphael so Bodicea inherit and we're gonna take Raphael here so she's got of course all these enhancements that I have been upgrading her and um, he is absolutely brand new but he starts at level 40 which is a really good sign for me uh, and she's red level 45 of course you see the huge differences in the stats and I wish if, if I put the mouse on inherit it would show what, what it is but it doesn't show unfortunately so I'm gonna just have to trust it so there's electro damage um, the angel magic attack is 35,000, so that's something to, rem to remember, and agility almost 9,000. So let's just do it. Okay, he straight away um, got stuck uh, on the upgrade window because he'll need then level 4 holy crystals, and I got 25 of them. So that's that's um, not so far away from what he needs. I'm gonna refresh the uh, the window. Bodicea went down to one, so I'm gonna bond with her 80 times, and that's three holy crystals. Let's keep bonding with her until I get those holy crystals. 20. And two more, that might be enough. Let's go now to Raphael and upgrade him. Let's refresh the window. I think every time um, it doesn't take into consideration what you exactly have. Let's upgrade him. So now he is uh, a red Raphael level 40. And his hello is going to give 8600 HP to my front row. So I'm going to deploy him. And let's go to Guardian Angel. And we have basically Bodicea here who is undeployed right now. And Nocturno was the one that's out. So the next one, I think it's Sylvia who is the next weakest one. So I'm going to take her out. Um, then I'm going to get Prospera onto for Pyrona. I'm going to give Glacia to Zwayhander. And I'm going to give um, Lorelei to... Genie and Bodicea to my tank. So now I have the strongest. Who is that? That's me actually. Wait, I'm confused. I thought 
Rafael is taking care of me. Okay, so we're gonna switch Bodicia and Marina. So I'll be with Bodicia and uh, Nether Knight will be with uh, Marina. I also can improve these cherub stones to get them more uh, stats. So I'll do that as well. There's a lot to do. So, but let's go back to the lucky uh, tree, to the lucky coin shop. So the angel I got, and I'm not gonna get the rest. At least not right now. I think more it's more important to get the totem. So there it is. 3750 is gonna go on the totem. So we're gonna keep that. But I still have a lot left. The gems are of course also very good. I could get everybody really good gems, but uh also mounts are good. So we're gonna get um this guy <laughs> who is the Turkey mount for 90. We're gonna get King Alabaster, Royal Unicorn, Dark Spirit Ram, and Moonlight Unicorn as well. And I still have 27,000, so um, Celestial King is also a possibility. But let's go first to Glamour and unlock all the ones we got, which is not here. King Alabaster, I think that was one of them. So that's one. So that's more stats, of course. And Dark Spirit Ram here. Unlock as well. Bell rating plus 3600. Uh, we got the Turkey. Good. Tooth 2500. And I think it was the Unicorn, the other one. Yep. And another 900 from the Unicorn. So if I close that. We have bell rating up to by 8,000 increased. And we can also just have a quick look at what they look like. So we got King Alabaster, who is um, similar to the other lion. That's what it looks like. Pretty nice colors. Again, I don't have other clothing to, um, to wear to match the mounts for now. Then we got um, the turkey, who is a, <laughs> a funny mound. There we go. Really funny. How does it look from the back? Okay. And then we got next up is the dark spirit ram. That might match my clothing, actually. That's the guy. Oof, he's got huge blue, light blue um, horns or whatever they're called. So, I don't like him. <laughs> it's just a matter of taste. And then, of course, these ones we have. And, and the royal unicorn is, uh, I'd say, a lady's mount. <laughs> very pretty, very elegant. Uh, kind of actually matches uh, my clothing. So pretty good if there is a wedding or something I can definitely wear this mount. But I'm gonna stay uh with I'm gonna go back to my Cerberus. There we go. And looking at the luck the the lucky tree coin shop we got twenty seven thousand five hundred still to go and um I'm going to possibly get these angels uh, for guardian purposes, I uh, possibly or these celestial king soul or gems. I think that's one of the things. So I'm not gonna haste into that. I'll I'll ask my guildmates about it as well and uh, take it from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, lucky tree, lucky coin shop uh, video, and also of course me. Have, uh, having level 56 and 239,625 bell rating. So uh, if you enjoyed, please do click on like and subscribe for the video. It always helps a lot. Yeah, also, when you share with your friends on Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, or anything else that you're using. And uh, remember, the my referral, uh, referral link is in, in, in the description below if you want to come and play League of Angels on AMZ game servers. So follow through there. Otherwise, my site, dollygames.com, visit it, bookmark it. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a very nice day.